Hello, my Leviathans, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Arise here on my channel. And we're gonna figure out what this dream is that like he's having some sort of past uh, memory, I'm guessing. Astral energy charging almost complete. Output stable standing by. Alright, and well, without further ado, don't forget to like one, don't forget to subscribe for more content, and let's get this party started. Alright, so we can't hit map, so the maiden will maintain control over things. You just focus on not breaking your concentration while the ceremony is in progress. If you want to see your home again, you'll have to do a good job here at 1273. To be honest, I was beginning to sweat bullets. If you hadn't worked out, who knows what we would have had done. This is the first time we managed to assemble a sovereign and made it maiden ready for the ceremony. After all, seeing you make it all the way to today has put my fears to rest. Alright. What's this little kid want? Is this the test subject, ma'am? Wow, it looks just like us. On the outside, maybe. Inside, is it uncivilized as the rest of them? You haven't forgotten my warning from earlier, I hope. No, ma'am. No touching the test subject, right? You're not allowed past here. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. So I have to go the way. What do you say? Daddy has a car hall lately, so I decided to come visit him. But they won't let me go any farther. It's not there. I hope he finishes his work soon so I can see him. Do do do. Anybody else have anything to say? Another one bites the dust. Another one goes. Another one. <clears throat> Remember, it's 1273. Your only success story. Do not let all the hard work and research go to waste at any cost. The harvester we deployed on Dana is functioning as intended, is gathering astral energy and transmitting it to Langless. I've spent a lot of days keeping a close eye on things, but soon that work will finally be over and I can get back to my little girl. Ah, Dana test subject as our sovereign. Uh, I expect you to carry out your function without falling apart like the others, understand? Alright, so there's more than one star. Person. Oh, it's you, 1273, or should I say Sovereign. You don't understand how much time and effort we've invested to create you as our lone success. We can't risk losing you to injury at this stage. Looking at the statistics, the subject's biological sex appears to have almost no bearing on the rate of success or failure. I don't know who got it in their head to start calling you sovereign. At the end of the day, you're nothing more than a test subject. Your only worth lies in your physical aptitude for the task at hand. Your thoughts and feelings are of no concern. Thanks, usual, no Dad. To explain anything to me, they just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? Yeah, pretty much. They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. And there's she Time, Alphon. It's finally happening, huh? Or someone looks kinda like her. Uh yes, we need to change into our efforts, then meet in front of the transfer device. Once this is all over, you'll finally be able to return home. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm so sorry you got dragged into all this. It's not your fault. Let's just do what we have to and get this thing over with. Right. I just wanted to go back to Dana, to my home. Alfin, 
Okay, it's not her. Niori, huh? I'm guessing the project failed and they created something they weren't supposed to. It looks like the running home world is destroyed, so the only place left is Dana. So they'd forget. <laughs> Wait, please. Wait, I. I. What was that? That was a memory. Pieces of a memory. Fragments of a memory. Heaven. That. How long ago was that? Years. <sighs> Maybe centuries. That's right. Shion. <sighs> you can feel pain. You feel all the pain that you never felt. Your body's probably beat up from all this. Right. That's what pain felt like. So much for it all being a bad dream. Where am I? Where is everyone? I don't know. Why are you asking me? The blade's gone. I need to find them. Better start looking. <sighs> yep. Your party disbanded. Acquired Master Core win. Nice. How'd they level up? They're not with me. So last episode I lost Shion and I lost my entire party as the ship got destroyed and we got shipwrecked. We learned how Alphan got his mask. Neori. Shion. I... You can't save anyone. Damn it. Oh boy, I get the fight by myself. I get the fight by myself, guys. I'm not done. Swallow blade. Slap the duck. It's over. I don't want you to hit me. Go away. Here I come. Swallow blade. Slash the duck. Here I come. Doesn't look like I can knock these guys in there. Oops. Here I come. Slash. As your storm. Here I come. Ow. Slash. Swallow blade. Take 
the wrong fight. Oh yeah, and I have the fire anymore. But I'm not as strong as I used to be, guys. Yeah, stay away from them when he's doing that. Oh, and I'm paralyzed. Uh, can I move, please? Alright, you can't hit him in the air. I don't know. It wasn't like me before. It wasn't like me to hit him in the air before. He's not used to pain. And you start to feel pain, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot in the last episode. Okay. You start feeling pain again, guys. Finwell. What happened just now? Normally, you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you all right? No, it, he's not. Yeah. This world is turned upside down. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Rinwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Oron's <coughs> realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Or something he planned. If Voron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're She's feeling all messed okay? Up. You seem a little off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. <sighs> His mind is all over the place right now. You sense one ah, of your pals, Hoodle, 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 hoodle. Sensing all the owls. Hmm. Oh, isn't that it right there? No, it's just a rock. Okay. A little sense an owl somewhere. Let's check to see if the owl is back where I came from, since I wasn't able to actually. Sense okay, nope. Okay. I don't know why I'm not allowed to run right now. For some reason, the game won't let me run right now. There's something out here. What are you guys doing? Is that the one electric city? Just hold them still for me. You picked the wrong fight. Resonate with I'm ready. Alright. Oh, I don't uh, think I've ever seen this one either. That's pretty cool. I think the whole holy mass healing abilities at With least. I'm sorry, healing. Even stronger. 
I see the owl. Speaking Don't Thistle, make a cutscene get in my way. It's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The He's, whole town was his built mind by is somewhere defectors. else right now. Escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though. So heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. <laughs> Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. They can't touch Xi'an anymore. I wonder if Alvin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation. Oh. Simply keep an eye on it. Right. Yeah, I see it. Let me get it. Thank you. And there is the owl for this area. Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? I can't, I don't think. Can I? I can just go wherever I want? Okay, no, I was saying you can't go to these places. Okay. Oh, sec, can I just go wherever I want? No, you can't, okay. Apparently, there's another owl in here. Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. He remembers who he is. I... I got my memory back. And it's not good. Did you tell them everything? So, what did you remember? Are okay, you able he to tell us now? Yet. Give the man some space, Law. He's just a lab experiment. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the crown contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess they were all because you were the Sovereign. 
Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. To summon As for something what the ceremony was actually for. Unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, no, he right? Just but Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do like you explain her? that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. So it's probably like her sister or something. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? Or her mother. So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To save him. To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... Killed everyone. After what I did on Lenigus, over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean you staged a rebellion? No. Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I mean, it would explain why Lenigus hasn't been sending anybody down or doing anything with Renan. With I the Denon world. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... Probably. Over 300 years old, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Pretty much an antique of a human being. It's not even human anymore. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home. Committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Oh, yeah, but you stop. didn't do it on purpose. Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Mm. 
you, unlike the Lord, most of the Lords, you didn't do it on purpose. You don't even know what happened. Yes, Sora. So you can even say that you actually did it. Listen. What you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. <laughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Mm, she's not wrong. Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. I do I even have the right to fight? Jeez. Do I have the right? To go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? Hmm. Let's find out. Fast travel point added. Nice. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? She made her leave. Did she come with you? No. She stayed behind. <coughs> Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenegas abducted? You're nope. saying they forced Naori? One of their own? To serve against her will as well? Mm -hmm. Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> she stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty... Take care of don't. her ancestors. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away. Mom was yelled you at you. Told huh? me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. Then I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No. You're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't and now she's be helping here had you I not heard she knows them. that you need help coming Left back from devices, your depression. Who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up? Besides, 
It's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Mm, yeah, we're just not experimenting that, on you like but a But that guilt you feel rat. inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? Mm, so, I'll All go up there time, later. I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are. In one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well, you can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah, I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been mm, guys got something in, the in common. Place. How about that? Otherwise, if I hadn't, <laughs> that was bad. Maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although, if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave with no <gasps> means to resist. I never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nah, uh I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? Someone who has I the power to do so. I guess what I'm trying so. to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly. I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering. Just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah. All this Jeez, time man. you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still. If you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Everybody Every has a lot they wish they could understand. Further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their Sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden. A figure so powerful, she's playing Yin to the Sovereign's Yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again... This all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Well, Speaking your history which, is a lot different because after he destroyed almost all Renan... And you used the Renaissance had to rebuild a lot of your, your history is probably lost. Yes, or at least that's what they called it. 
Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be what? frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost, but I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. Alfin, are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself I for what happened. <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't, don't agree. I but that doesn't mean I don't that. understand either. Experience it all the time. The thing. I have terrible memory, and then I remember stuff. And I'm like, oh. I guess. Okay, whatever. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! I mean, you give me some what powers that don't hurt me. What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad cool. died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me. That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? He's really What's angry at you. Alvin? What do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. Back to the inn, I guess. All right. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... Yeah, you just started feeling pain again. <laughs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. 
It's now or never, right? Alfin, right! Great to have you back! Now let's do this! Oh boy! Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Yeah, I see them. They're right in front of me. They're literally standing in my face. Oh, wait. I don't have Shiana anymore, so I don't really need to get the in the In all reality. I keep forgetting I don't have the flames on it anymore. Totally. Mikasa, nice. I don't think I've seen this one. That was actually pretty cool. It made a sword. Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this alone kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh, you won't allow is it. that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something too. My rage, this fury I feel at our so-called rulers, it comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bonds with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xion comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xion, then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, 
can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait. Don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. Captain goes down the ship. We know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? Maybe. I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Next funny out. Alphonse 300 years old. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. Thistleham was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even though we're Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renan. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Alright. I think I'm going to end this episode here, and it looks like we have some side quests we can do and stuff before we continue on with the main quests and stuff like that. So I'll probably do whatever side quests I can do, maybe go back to the owl place and uh, check out what they got for me there. Don't forget to like button, don't forget to subscribe for more Tales of Arise content here on my channel. Looks like we might be getting close to the end of the game as well. And I'll see you as latest. So saith the Leviathan. 
for watching. Don't forget to the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. By the way, you can click the videos above to see more of my content if you would love to. And if you click right over here, you will be able to subscribe to my channel without having to go down and click the subscribe button. Or you can just go down and click the subscribe button as well. And don't forget to hit the like button again. Don't forget to go down below the video in my description and check out my social media. Join my Discord, my Facebook, my Twitter to keep yourselves updated on my content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later. So, see you, the Leviathan.